Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and this is how to create a Grand Theft Auto style game in Unity and welcome to episode 25. In this tutorial we are going to focus on allowing our character to aim his gun only when he actually has hold of the gun because we don't want him aiming just bare hands. And don't forget click on subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial still to come in this series and indeed everything about game development on my channel. And if you've enjoyed the series so far, please feel free to check me out on Patreon or YouTube memberships where you'll earn things like early access, exclusive content, project files, and so much more. With that in mind, let's get to work. So, currently, our character right here, the hidden contract killer, so once turned off, he's our main character, has three animations attached to him, idle, walk, and run. Uh, we are still using the legacy animation component, but you can use the animator component. It is pretty much the same and to be honest we might make that leap uh, and make the modifications at some point anyway but for now I'm going to stick with animation. The code is going to be the same, well almost the same if you use the animator component. The only difference will be the word animation and animator when we reference that component. So how do we get him to aim? Well, it's actually a lot simpler than what you would think. It's a couple of lines of code in a new script, but the main thing is we have to make sure he's able to play that animation. So if we go to the folder where our animation is down here, and in animations and legacy, you will actually have this one here, but it doesn't have the aiming animation, it only has the original. So what we have to do, if you're following what I do, then you'll have to go to the original animations folder, locate that fire one pistol and then duplicate the aiming animation. Now if you are using animator you won't need to do the next probably 20 seconds of this tutorial. So hold control press D. So like I say if you're using animator now you don't need to follow this next little section. Uh, but all I'm going to do is just rename this to animating one pistol without the space and then up here I'm going to change it to debug tick legacy and then head back to normal view, wrap mode, loop. So this animation is now perfect for this character. If you're using animator, you don't need to set it as legacy, but it will still work the exact same. So now what we need to do is make sure that the animation goes on to our player. So I'm going to increase the animation size to four and then drag and drop aiming one pistol to be element number three. If you're using the animator component, you would just need to drag it onto the animator here. So let's get the script in place to allow us to aim. So st by standard, the way we do this is if we hold down the right mouse button, we can aim, and then the left mouse button would be the one to fire. So we're just going to focus on being able to aim right now. So we need to go to the scripts folder and into characters and right click, create C sharp script. And I'm actually going to call this script firing pistol. The reason being is because we're going to modify this script further at some point to be able to actually fire our weapon. Key thing in this is just being able to uh, aim the weapon right now. So we're going to write this script, a couple of lines of code, it's nothing too taxing, but I'll explain how things are working as we go along. Uh, obviously there's going to be uh, some extra coding in other places to kind of make sure that we can't aim without the gun because that would just look really, really silly, wouldn't it? So Visual Studio is just loading up now. Uh, I swear it takes longer and longer. So to do this we need to declare a couple of variables. So we're going to start with two variables whilst getting rid of the annotations and void start because we don't need them. First variable is going to be a bool to say are we aiming or not? So public bool is aiming. By default that will be false. Uh, next one is going to be the player. So we'll go public game object the player semicolon. Now we need to make sure that we're registering at any point if we're going to press the right mouse button to be able to aim our weapon. And there's two animations that we need in this script more than anything. And that is going to be the aiming script, so aiming one pistol, and idle. Because if we're aiming, we want to aim. If we're not, we need to be idle. So we need to put if, and in brackets, input dot get mouse button. 
and in brackets one close bracket close bracket open curly bracket so the reason we're putting one is because that is defined as um well right click really it's the easiest way to say it <laughs> zero would be left click and two would be your middle mouse click so just make sure you put one there if you're wanting your right mouse button to be the one to aim the weapon so if we are holding it we need to say is aiming equals true if i can type and basically the reason we're saying um, we're kind of preparing for the future here by saying is aiming is true or false because it gives us the opportunity to be able to uh, left click and fire our weapon when we get round to that so what we're going to do here is say on next line the player dot get component and in spiky brackets animation now like i said earlier if you're using the animator component you just put the word animator here the rest is exactly the same oh close bracket dot play and in brackets and quotes the name of the animation in this case it is aiming one pistol so aiming one pistol close bracket semicolon and after that we'll say the else because we need to say if we're not holding it then revert back to normal so else open curly bracket and we say is aiming if i can spell it right equals false semicolon and then we'll just copy this line of code right here place it here and then change the animation name back to idle and save that script so if we head back to unity and just let it compile for a second shouldn't have any errors it should go through nicely perfect so the way we're going to do this is on contract killer i am going to add another game object so right click on him create empty and then i'm going to rename this to controls and under here i'm going to add another game object and this game object let's call this firing pistol so the reason we're doing this is because it makes it easier to be able to control when we can and can't fire our pistol so if we drag that onto there and then set the player variable which is contract killer so by all rights we should be able to aim our weapon out even though we're not holding it so to control that what we need to do is turn that firing pistol game object off so that goes off completely and we need to now modify the script which is around our weapon over here which is the pistol trigger to be able to turn that object on when we pick up the pistol so let's go to this gun pickup script right here on here we just need to add in the extra variable so public game object and this will be pistol fire uh obj short for object and what that now means is that after we've done uh, the gun pickup play turn the pistol on we just need to add in that line of code to turn the controls on so pistol fire obj dot set active true semicolon and save that script let's head back into unity now and wait for it to compile once more and we just need to add that game object down here so let's go to our player and drag and drop firing pistol over here i'm going to save that scene and let's press play and try this out so like i said uh, we should not be able to aim our weapon now so when this cutscene plays through as it always does uh, we should see the contract killer turn on but this firing pistol will not turn on so far so good so if i hold down the right mouse button nothing happens so if we head over to our pistol where is it there it is i can see it twirling okay so we've noticed there already there's a glitch so let's resolve that glitch however let's try there we go so if we hold down the right mouse button we can aim our pistol perfect so let's resolve the bug where we do not walk 
Now, the reason we have to uh, control a lot of this is because there are so many things that can go wrong. So we ha now have to establish where the bug arises. It arises within this firing pistol script. And basically, we're saying that even though we're not firing the weapon, we are basically saying that, okay, well, yeah, idle, permanently playing idle. However, we don't want to play idle if we are, let's say, about to run. So let's try a couple of different things. A couple of th different things won't work, some will. First thing let's try is let's get rid of that line of code and save and head back to Unity and press play. Now I'm not 100% sure what would actually happen here because I didn't try this when I tested the tutorial. It may actually be a quicker way of doing it because logically, if we're not holding the right mouse button, we're still playing the standard animation, but we could also change that to be stopping the animation. So let's pick up our weapon. So far, so good. Aim. There we go. That's all it was. So there's a little glitch there that you may have just noticed. That is uh, something we're going to control in the next tutorial because next tutorial is where we're going to focus on being able to fire the weapon and also being able to, well, basically aim our weapon rather than just what it's doing now because we're just aiming in one direction. So we can run, aim our weapon. So, so far, so good. You can refine this a little bit more if you need to. Um, but like I say, the main factor is being able to only aim it when we have that weapon. I'm going to leave this line of code in here for now because we're going to probably modify this a little bit more next tutorial. So next tutorial, we're going to fire our gun and if we have time, add some more AI to our NPCs to kind of cower when we're aiming at them and, you know, that kind of thing. Or when they see a gun, they run off shouting, screaming, that kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, until that next tutorial, guys, thank you very much for watching.